Mastering Mixed Conditionals, Combining the Second and Third. Hello, learners. Welcome back to our ongoing series, Grammar Fundamentals. Today, we're going to dive into a truly fascinating aspect of English grammar. Mixed conditionals, specifically combining the second and third conditionals. Mixed conditionals allow us to express complex thoughts and ideas, linking together different times and hypothetical situations. So, if you've ever been puzzled about how to use these, you've come to the right place. Before we get into mixed conditionals, let's take a quick recap of the second and third conditionals. Second conditional. We use the second conditional to talk about imaginary or unlikely situations in the present or future. Format. If plus past simple, would, could, might plus base verb. Example. If I had a lot of money, I would buy a mansion. Third conditional. We use the third conditional to talk about imaginary situations in the past, things that did not happen. Format. If plus past perfect, would, could, might plus have plus past participle. Example. If I had studied harder, I would have passed the exam. Now, mixed conditionals are, as their name suggests, a mix of the second and third conditionals. We use them when we want to talk about an imaginary or hypothetical situation in the past and its result in the present. There are two types of mixed conditionals. Type 1. If plus past perfect, third conditional, would plus base verb, second conditional. Type 2. If plus past simple, second conditional, would have plus past participle, third conditional. Let's look at some examples of each type. Type 1. If you had worked harder at school, you would be in a better job now. Here, the if clause is in the third conditional, talking about an imaginary situation in the past. The result clause is in the second conditional, showing the present result of the past condition. Type 2. If I were you, I would have apologized for what happened. The if clause uses the second conditional to express an imaginary present situation, while the result clause uses the third conditional to express a hypothetical past result. Mixed conditionals can certainly be tricky, but remember, they're an excellent tool for expressing complex ideas, particularly when you want to link together different times and hypothetical scenarios. Practice makes perfect with these, so keep trying, and you'll be mastering mixed conditionals in no time. Thanks for joining us in this lesson. Keep exploring, and remember, language learning is a journey, not a destination. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.